Okay guys, I was doing some last minute prep work just because I wanted to check out stuff and figure out what's going on. I think I realized what the game wants me to do and by that point we're going to be already in the final dungeon so I'm not going to bother doing the optional stuff. That might just be a post game stream, or stream, a <laughs> post, post game recording. Uh, pretty much what I was going to do was show off two optional boss fights that I no exist, but one of them didn't want to trigger because something screwed up or something, and the other one I simply just don't know how to get. So from this point onwards, it's just going to be a straight old fashioned gets the end. But we do have cutscenes here. We're also going to have a lot of cutscenes here because this is one of I think three you get in um. Area now? I forgot what it's called already. <laughs> okay, a long time ago, Flynn and I used to look after a feet together. Uh huh. Lore dumping! Dump that lore on me. That sounds really bad now that I say that verbally. Yeah, maybe I should have. Okay. There's also a very particular reason I wanted to come here, because uh, we will be getting uh, Yuri's last skill here. Our last skill for this run. Okay, there's a lot of... oh boy. Okay. I am also not changing th these costumes now. Well, the default and then uh, Estelle's uh, little Flash Girl outfit. Yay, yeah, repeat got a title! Also, between last episode and this episode, I did get everyone up to level 60 plus because it's gonna make life easier on me, regardless. So, Yuri has a oh boy, too. you are real loud. I don't know why Sun are just super loud. I'd like to know where all of you came from. Hmm, where should I start? We already know what you're gonna say, you big wuss. Doggrass. <sighs> Fine, Rita. Then how about you? I've done research in Ospia for a while. Jeez, big shocker there. What about you, Judith? Me? I lived in the town before I met Bowel. Everybody called me a prim and proper little girl. You gotta be kidding. Estelle, you grew up in the castle, right? Yes, I spent all of my time in the castle reading books. I'm so jealous of all of you. See, That's good. no surprises. Just like Rita's story. Doesn't anyone want to ask old Raven? I might have some interesting tales to tell. In your case, old man, I think I've got a pretty good idea what you'd say. My past might spin you for a loop and have you fallen head over heels for me. You don't know. Uh, uh Raven? The credibility so far as stories are concerned, old man. Don't be so cold. Come on, let me tell my story. Nope. Alright, leave town, come back, like, once or twice, and we should be done with the cutscenes here. Should be. Mary Flynn, welcome back. Also, line us up opera today. Hey, right, well, let's go into to the room.
crap, I hit the mouse. Oh, yay! Uh, Flynn's gonna help Yuri get some art. Yep, this is pretty much the art cutscene. Or should be the art cutscene. I guess it's not? Nope, there it is. So this is the last cut I wanted to actually get because this is the one that actually matters. Yep, there we go. Yuri learned Final Gale as an arcane art. I will probably not be using that, but I want to show off that at least exists. So let's go to the inn, uh, stock up on stuff, some last minute stuff, and then we should be fine. Yes, yes, I don't care how expensive it is, I got enough money. When faced with a daunting foe, they often betray their comrades and save themselves. They gain more power than they need, and grow overconfident once they have it. This had been my understanding of human nature. Humans are quite interesting. They become distrustful once betrayed. One moment they may slander a friend, and the next be moved to feelings of love. Their hearts may grow more compassionate, or be lost to depravity. Truly puzzling creatures. All of that makes them dangerous. How long until they are drowned by their thirst for power? Nah, not long. Until they betray all those dear to them in their struggle for supremacy. When they stand before a mighty enemy, will they keep their resolve? Do you not believe in them, Sylph? I wished only to convey the delicacy of the situation. Should they ever become too great a nuisance, we need only burn them to the ground. It seems that the conversion to spirit form has not tempered our leader's fiery wrath. Nor has there been any change in the optimism that so characterized you, Undine. And you remain every bit as cautious and careful as you ever were. Has not that fear kept you in constant... No, nothing has changed, effectively. In the sky? It was all the Antilochia and humans could do to seal it away 1,000 years ago. The humans have said that as spirits, we possess the power to defeat it. However, say no more. Speaking it out loud will only further increase your worry. We are a new power. That will form the cornerstone of this world. The Adephagos is nothing. We may possess enough power to defeat the Adephagos once and for all. I realize Gnome's tail is, uh, that sword thing. But all our work will huh. for naught if the humans cannot face this threat. Do not forget that it is the mortals who must use our powers against the Adephagos. Did you not place your faith in their hands? As there are no others to whom we can turn, I will entrust them with our final hope. Then be content to stand by and watch over them. I too okay. will wait the day when I make known my full power. <sighs> and Gnome just does not speak. Speak, Gnome. If you have something we should know. He says we are left to make one of two choices. Perish along with this world or entrust our powers to the humans. They may be fragile, but their hearts burn with a determination to live. I will stand- I forgot this also plays here. Do you mean it, Gnome? He says I too share their desire to go on living. That is the life for those who grow old and die. We must live as suits our nature. No. Like them, the oncoming catastrophe could sow the seeds of our obliteration as well. No. Let us two struggle for as long as we can, as the humans do. Yay, human understanding, technically. I guess in the next, in the extent of that, yeah. That's a long cutscene just to say, hey, we'll fight with you. Okay, next 
next stop is getting stocked up for the journey ahead of us, and then we are going to go do said journey. Okay, just going to buy... We may come back later and stock up more, but I think for right now I'm going to just buy like whatever's necessary. Do you have any separate weapons? Yes, you do. All weapons that I cannot afford. That's fine, because I will come back and eventually buy this. Ooh, actually, you know, in that case... By two of you. We'll put on two different Estelle. Oh, there's better I- Oh, there's better stuff in gen- Ah. Oh, fudge muffins. Paladin Cape, uh, Black Onyx. And cooking stuff. Okay, cool. We'll, we might come back and buy stuff because I forgot how we, um, not how we did the <laughs> yeah, what is this town's name again? Ashio? Ashio has a lot of good stuff that I honestly never bought any of it. So, yep, we may come back between episodes. Depending on how much the final dungeon gives off in payments. So, we saved. We got all the cutscenes that wanted. So, let's get on Bad Wool and fly to the final dungeon. Well, I believe there's a cutscene waiting for us. I don't necessarily remember. But we gotta go back to Ospio. And as I did say, Ospio is cut off from you at this point. So hopefully you got all your shopping you'd ever want to get done there and all your side quests, because you're not going back there ever again. Oh, I thought we got a cutscene for getting close to it. I guess not. Damn, this is huge. It really feels like it reaches the sky. And this thing was just sleeping in the ground near Ospio. I can't believe it. That was probably Ospio itself, though, wasn't it? There must be a life-absorbing formula expanding around it. It looks that way. This isn't good. It looks like it came together pretty quickly. So there's not much time left. Perfect. People always heave ho with a deadline looming over them. Oh, yeah. That might be true. But it still puts us in hot water. True. If it's absorbing life from everyone, that should affect us as well, but... Makes her above it? Or Estelle. Estelle? The spirits. They've swathed us in their power. So we should be fine as long as the spirit's power is greater than that formula. Then we just need to run right to the top before that changes. That'll exhaust us before we even face the Autofagos. Yep. Can't we just get on Baul and fly up to the top? I doubt it would affect Baul, but we probably couldn't take it. You just don't want to climb up. Of course not. Who do you think I am? Yeah, true enough. Raven is kind of a planer. It looks like we're walking. Yay. We must brace ourselves and press forward. Yeah, don't let your guard down. Who knows what's waiting for us up ahead? Yeah, never. Narrow this dungeon at least. So, uh, cutscene. The ancient civilization of Garaios. What must the people have been like who lived in an age that produced buildings like this? Well, I'm no expert on their lives, but I have some ideas from the Blastia we've excavated. Except for the Autophagos, from a scientific perspective, their civilization was nearly perfect. Their Blastia would have given them power equal to that of the Antilochea. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, the Antilochea would have wiped them out. It's hard to believe that the people who were so scared of monsters, who locked themselves inside of a barrier, could have been so mighty. People got too much power and destroyed what they built in the process. It's not that uncommon. But there's one part of their legacy we're still paying for. Yep. This one. They left behind the Autophagos for folks who came after them to deal with. Maybe they didn't have a choice, but that doesn't make it right. You take responsibility. We... We'll have to own up to whatever choices we make from now on, too. True. That's right. If we're gonna make a world without Blastia, we gotta make sure it works. We'll do a proper job with our own hands. Yeah. Absolutely. Why is it Flynn in any of this? Uh, so, as I said, I got everyone up to level 60 plus. Just because the enemies here and the bosses, I say that with, like, I guess semi heavy quotation marks. Uh, they're kind of tough, and they're just going to take a long time if we were anything lower than level 60. Uh, so yeah, I just took the time, 
I ran around the world for a bit, found, fought some of the toughest stuff in the game, and just leveled up off that. Also, I don't know if it's a glitch or if they planned this to be the gigant, the gigant, giganto monster in uh, Zerio could respawn on you. So take your time and fight that every so often, just because it drops like a, almost like a, a mill experience. So, yep, say hello to the final dungeon. We are going to be going everywhere here, because I, have, I could get everywhere in this area in general. So, we're going to be level 60+, plus, and we're probably going to reach our scratch, like, 70, probably. Whoa. Man, how could all of this be kept underground for so long? <laughs> Not easily, I take it. The reason it. so many Blastia were excavated from around Ospio must have been because this was here. The ancient Garayo civilization. This is more amazing than anything in a book. Oh yeah. Something feels strange. I know this is a weapon, because he's gonna use it against the Autofagos. But from the outside, it looked like a city. Did they turn an entire city into a weapon? Not unlikely. Maybe they had to sacrifice such a huge city so they could stand a chance against the Autofagos. This place is enormous. So many people must have lived here. Oh yeah. And now, one man is holed up in here to destroy every last person. Duke. I'd rather not meet him if we don't have to. That soldier was already a hero in the Great War. Who knows how much stronger he's gotten since. True. What are you talking about? We'll just kill the Autophagos before we fight Duke. Then Duke won't have a reason to sacrifice humanity. He'll probably find a reason, though. I hope so. So, anything here is going to be really tough, so I'm going to just swap out my party real fast. We're going to swap out Judith for Flynn, and we're going to swap out Carol for Estelle. So, to go around this dungeon, I forget, I was do it properly, so we're going to play Trial and Error. Also, yeah, everything here is going to be new, so time to scan. Uh, there you go. I also need to use one more item because I need to scan the other thing. Fantail. Okay. Oh, come on. There you go, Carol. Oh, I messed it up. Uh, it's going a lot faster than I thought it would. Full of cow. That will suffice. Uh, two thousand. Oh, just two thousand experience. That's not bad at all. Then shoot. Probably should have turned the cutscene and just grind it here for a bit. So this should be lock. Locked. Yep, that's locked. So I know one of the lower paths is what we're supposed to go to first to get um to get the side content. And trust me, there's going to be a lot of side content in this dungeon. Because uh, there's like an entirely different lower part of this dungeon that you don't normally see in the American version. So this is going to be interesting. Oh, Flynn, you have such a bad knockdown move right now. Okay, next up is you. So there are some other side quests that we can activate now, but once again, it'll be kind of pointless and... There's cyclists I've never done myself, so it'd probably be best if we just uh, save it for a side or a bonus episode bad. or something. Yeah, okay. Also, why are people? Okay, sorry about that. I'm, I also probably shouldn't reply to stuff when I'm actively recording. So I was wrong. We had to go. We had to go up a up a couple levels, or we could go over there. Cause all right, or no, you're blocked off from us. Right, cause I, you have to activate stuff, and I forget which order you're supposed to do stuff in. Okay, you're not gonna activate. You're a new monster entirely, so bring it. A humanoid bear. 
Man. All 58. Wow, Flint. Oh, that has multi hit? I thought that was only a single hit. Okay, Flint might be a bit better than I thought he was. Uh, Carol, you gotta hit something with that, buddy. I mean, you're trying. You're trying a little too slow. A little too late, I guess. Okay, 2000, Bear Skin, Great Leo Fang, Grim Claw Leo Fang. Okay. Okay, well, at least everyone's just leveling up still. Gains good stuff. Patty, I think, needs to be swapped off for a weapon currently. Yeah, Patty's gonna be swapped off for a weapon. We're still in that for a phase where I want everyone to learn all their skills from other weapons, so I'm probably gonna just constantly swap in and out of things. So, you're not activated. Okay, you're a force monster, so you're definitely new to us. Come on, let's do it. Uh, need to scan you. Oh, you're an EX unicorn. Okay. What is that other unicorn doing in the background? He's just kind of chilling. Oh, great! The Leo guys have poison on them. Hey, Patty, you killed me for a bit. Oh wow, Carol's on. Oh, he's is, he's is a good healer at times. Oh yeah, uh, Patty has a move that I'm pretty sure is an instant kill. He has a uh, Mahjong. Being hard. And here we go. We're done. What else do I have to do right now? We went up. Is it up, down, and then you go around and then go to the underbelly of the area, or is half your house works? I'm not used to dungeons. I did this like friggin' like two years ago at this point. I mean, I guess that's the point of like doing let's plays I do, where it's like, eh, I don't really remember. I don't really remember. I don't really remember the game, so eh, let's try it. Oh, Patty, that was a bad time to use your. Uh, Risky ladder. So Flynn also has Holy Lance, huh? I mean, Estelle has Holy Lance now, but that's also she gets that like level 59 or something. Roy like 58, but she still gets at a really late level for where you should be. Judith leveled up. Magic Lent. Ooh, I gotta waste like a couple more and I can come back and get that. This seems like it's the right way, which part of me is like, please don't be the right way because I want to go the wrong way, obviously. Are you locked? Yes, you are. So, you were just an optional. Freaking dang it, really use the optional path to fight this guy? Well, optional paths can still lead to good, some, some good stuff late, in late games, so why not? And hopefully this won't be like Tales of uh, Grace's F where I got stuck on a stupid color puzzle again. Thankfully, I'm fairly sure there is no color puzzle in this dungeon. You know, I, I was looking back at that footage from like six plus years ago now. I was really dumb. Thank thankfully, I learned from that point onwards of like, oh, color dungeon, it's not hard. There's no way we're gonna lose. Flynn leveled up. Okay, now I gotta I gotta get them off their current gear, because everyone's learning all their stuff. Repeat, you can get... Sure. Estelle, you need to learn uh, your Mystic Art, finally. You've had that for so long, I just refuse to teach you your Mystic Art. Rita's fine. Raven's fine, but I want to equip him something better. Sure. Uh, Judith, you're fine. You should be fine. Yeah, you're also equipped the strongest thing, and then you get equipped like the strongest thing, I'm pretty sure. I mean, there's better things, like, it doesn't have to be physically strong for me to like it, it's just that's what I'm gonna be doing. 
Okay, so there's Judas Ultimate Headgear. Uh, as soon as I can find it. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty freaking good, yeah. So I guess, like... Well, I mean, this episode was filled with a bit of cutscenes and stuff, so that's a little helpful. But, uh... I mean, to get this done in an effective manner, I, I would actually kind of have to stretch out the videos a bit longer. But... I don't really remember things. Oh, so this path is open up to us, but this path seems like the right path then, so we're gonna go up here. So I think after checking up, uh, checking up here, we'll, uh, come back to this dungeon on a later date, just because, well, I'm gonna have to go save, and I need to go talk to some people fast, so... Uh, it depends on what I do, so that's nothing to do with the recording. I don't know why I'm talking about that in general. Over here is the gun year, so that's a... that's all for left for Judith right now? I, I take it? Yeah, it's a lot better at least. Let's have a good time. Oh crap, it's gone. Oh, maybe we have Judith then, because if Judith got her all this stuff now, she would probably be the best to play. But a lot of them are playing Patty though, because Patty is the one that doesn't really care to fit right now. Okay, Carol, let's do this one. Thanks, Carol. We almost got it. Up. Oh. You look ready. So do you. Bro ship. Everybody likes a bro ship every so often. Uh, flat tail. Oh, is this area still go higher? Crush those spiderweb. Come on, Carol. You're meant to be like the heavy hitter right now of all, all uh, four of us. Patty's just there for her experience and uh, technique, because her techniques are really lucky if you get them off, like Time Stop or Mahjong, where she does like an instant death move. So that would be really nice to get back. So I'm thinking more of her convenience. There you go. Lane, you gotta do a little bit harder. I'll say, if they're only hitting me for about, a, like, 200 damage, that's actually really good. Okay, that's Flynn's blade maxed out, so what can we replace Flynn with? Miracle Gel. Don't need it, because we already have a lot of that. Flynn, you can get... Sure, let's give you happiness. You'll be doing a lot less damage, but you have a potential to level up a lot faster. Are you locked? You're locked. Okay. And that's a lift of sorts. Oh, I, I, okay, now I'm starting to recall where those lifts come into play, and that's not until, like, the very end of the dungeon. And for those who think I'm joking, I'm not. It's literally the end of the dungeon where you can use those to the fullest potential. Oh. Maybe this is the right way. If this leads me somewhere I don't... I, I know it's the right way, I'm gonna back off, cause, you know, that's not the goal of the first couple episodes, the goal is to get stronger. Oh, yeah, this toy leads me to that one place, doesn't it? Well, time to poke, poke my head in, cause we're supposed to go down for this optional stuff, not up. Yeah, this leads us to the next area. Okay, good to know, we're not going up there just yet. So we know where it is at the very least. And you've seen already, like, the majority of the dungeons. So I think I'm going to see, uh, I'm going to call it an episode here, and I'll see you guys next episode where we hopefully go the wrong way to go get certain, uh, certain, uh, objectives done. So, until then, I'll see you guys later. I also need to figure out what I'm going to level up. Yeah, there's really no point leveling up from this point onwards. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.